everybody, what's up? What's happening? This is Jose Trujillo, world's greatest living artist. Been doing a series of videos, man. My voice is gone, baby. <laughs> I've been doing a series of videos that I I, I wanted to do because uh, I, I get all these questions asked all the time, and I just wanted to start tackling some of those some of those questions and 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 getting some answers, getting some answers out there. There's all kinds of myths and all kinds of bullshit you know just just around being an artist uh there's the whole there's there's all this all this all this uh polar ends i guess right there's this ends uh that it's just it makes it so difficult many times to to really discern and and get out of all that mess and and find out really what works and what doesn't uh one of those examples is uh what i talked about earlier in a video about uh how's it going richard how's it going didi how's it going hannah sing art what's up hannah uh all this uh all these things right but w one of them in particular is is uh what is the most important thing which what should i do as an artist what's the most important thing and so the question is really now by the way i'm talking here to people who are who want to create artwork for a living okay i'm not talking about uh someone who would like just to create and you don't even have to create artwork for a living by the, by the way someone who wants to take their work and being known right someone who wants to make some sort of impact in the art world or in the galleries or whatever you don't even have to uh have this idea that you want to get paid for it it could very well be something that you just want to uh you just want to ex exhibit your artwork or whatever, you will need one thing, no matter what it is. You will need attention. No attention, nothing happens. I mean, just think about it from any perspective. You want to be the president? Man, you got to visit every fucking little town, everywhere, every city, every farm, every whatever, every town. You got to visit and you got you to gotta be there and you got to start, you know, shaking some hands, kissing some babies, you know, taking some photographs and, and speaking, right? You got to speak if you want to be the president. We've seen this over and over, right? This is uh, this is what happens. Any anything, anything that you want in life requires attention. Uh, babies want milk. Oh, okay. Baby, you want milk? Okay. Baby needs to cry, right? Baby needs to, uh, wah! Baby needs to get attention, right? Baby, you you want to speak in the class? You need to raise your hand, right? What what is raising your hand? It's a, uh, it's it's getting attention. Hey, I want to speak. I want to speak. Uh, whatever it is, right? You get the point. It's attention. So if you don't get attention, you're not gonna get, you know. You're not going to get your artwork exhibited. You're not going to get exposed. You're not going to get paid. You're not going to, nothing is going to happen. I said this over and over and I don't get tired of saying it for one reason. It is probably the thing that most artists throw under the rug right away. It is probably the thing that most artists uh, neglect. And it's because... We've been conditioned and we have these ideas that, oh man, I don't want to be a salesperson. I don't want to appear salesy. I don't want to be the type of artist who's always bothering people. I don't want to be, uh, um, I don't know, spammy and all this bullshit, right? It's a bunch of just fucking negative bullshit that, that we, just, we hear all the time. People tell us uh, it's part of the conditioning of, of, of being in the in an industrialized education. It's part of all, and this is not some hippie shit that I'm coming up with. This is reality. I mean, just think about it. You know, just 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 look back in history, just a little bit, not too long, not too long ago. Uh, just see see the patterns of education, see the patterns of anything. You know, uh, it, it, especially the industrial era. Era, it, everything was permission based, right? Hey, I want to go to the bathroom. Hey, I need to ask a question. Hey, boss. Hey, I want to. Hey, can I stand in line here? Everything is a line. Everything is wait your turn. Everything's wait, 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 wait. And so imagine if a baby is crying and, and needs to eat. There is no wait, right? There is no wait. Uh, an emergency? There is no wait for an emergency. Well, isn't getting attention sort of. I don't know. An emergency? Isn't getting attention an emergency? Like, I, dude, I need to get attention. I need people to know what I'm about. I need people to know that my artwork is available. I need people to know 
uh, I, I need to help people, not just get something. I need to help people. I need to share the message. I need to exchange power with people. I need to be sharing this. I know other people are in desperate need of certain things, such as good information, you know, good info, things that uh, matter, things that are important, right? Things that are important, such as, hey, dude, how do I get my artwork out, out there? Don't worry about how, dude. Just uh, just make a big fuzz, you know? Just 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 create a big buzz about it. Well, how do I do that? Don't worry about it. I don't know. Just whatever, right? Make a video. Okay, I did a video. Cool. Uh, put it on Facebook. Okay, I put it on Facebook. Cool. Put it on LinkedIn. Put it on Instagram. Put it on YouTube. Uh, okay, I did all of that. Okay, cool. Go outside and shake some hands. Okay, I did that. Okay, cool. I don't know. Make a raffle. Uh, get a gallery exhibit. I, like you got to get attention first before you make the sale. You need attention, right? You need attention. Create some artwork. Show the artwork. Exhibit the art. Like most of us, here's what happens, guys. Okay, most of us, we go into what is that one thing? What is the one thing? What is the one thing? What do I do? Do I do Facebook? Do I do this? That this is why I've been doing this series of videos because most of us get confused into thinking that that one thing is going to like make it work for you and there is no such fucking thing it doesn't exist there's no there's no one thing people people a lot of people ask me like dude is is is, is eBay the place i'm like dude, I, yeah but i hope not right because then that leaves me out right it it leaves all the other spaces out and so and and what if eBay doesn't work for me at some point you know, or what if Etsy stops working or what if the attention goes from Etsy to another new platform, right? So you don't want to neglect platforms. You don't want to neglect, neglect, um, um, communication, uh, channels, right? Lines, lines of communication. One, one form of communication is as old as your granny, you know, pick up the phone, pick up the phone. Simple as that. I know an, an even older form of communication that 99.9% of artists miss. You know, if you're an artist, most artists, we, we're good at hiding behind the, 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 the screen here. We're like, oh, I'm going to go on Instagram. This is what most of us do. But the, the guys that are winning out there, the people that are winning, they're doing all of it. They're not just doing Instagram. They're going and they're knocking on doors. This is an even older one. Hey. Hi, how's it going? My name is Jose Trujillo. I'm an artist. Let me show you what I got here. Let me let me show you how I'm going to help you. What do you mean? You can't help me? Yes, I can. Yes, I can. Dude, I can help you. I can help you get people inside your gallery. No, you can't. Even if you know nothing about marketing, know nothing about anything, as simple as saying, dude, I'm going to go tell everyone that I know. As a matter of fact, I'm going to go stand in the corner. I'm not going to pay for free. For free, I'm going to go get a banner, okay? And I'm going to stand in the, front, in the corner of your gallery. And I'm going to tell them, hey, gallery show this way. I'm going to stand in the corner. You're going to do things that even the gallery owner is going to go like, shit, man, I should be doing that. I should be, I should be standing in the corner doing that. You know, simple things that are just so damn effective that people don't want to do. And the reason why we don't want to do this is because we're fucking scared. We're afraid. We're afraid. And everyone is. Totally get it. Everyone's afraid. Nobody wants to make action. Nobody wants to do action. We're all afraid. What does it mean? If I work so hard, I'm going to get tired. No, you're not. You got eight hours to sleep. Go sleep if you're tired. You know, like like nobody is going, like your heart's not going to stop because you're tired. It doesn't, it doesn't happen that way. Like no one dies because they're tired. Like everyone sleeps, everyone wakes up and goes, oh, what do I do? Uh, should I go on Facebook? I don't know. Should I go on Instagram? Dude, why don't you go on all of them? You know, as I'm telling you, as I'm telling you this, I'm reminding myself as well, because this shit is this type of stuff that we forget. You know, you're an artist and you're like, man, I want to, I want to be on, I want to be on Instagram. Good for you, dude. But how many followers do you got? Oh, I got, I got 5,000 followers. I got 5,000 followers on Instagram. Good. Do you think that that's going to support an art career? That's stupid. I don't care if you have 100,000 followers. It's not going to support an art career. It might bring you a little bit of cash, but it ain't going to support a career. You're not going to pay staff with it. 
uh, an art studio, ship out stuff. Uh, when something gets broken, a new laptop. Dude, the other day, my, my, my computer like got busted. I had to go buy one cash right at the, in that moment, right? Things like that happen. I, I can't pay that with like $50 painting that I sold on Instagram. You know, it helps though, by the way. It does help, right? It's a flow. It's a drip. It's a flow. It helps. But this is what most of us do. What I'm, what I'm, Hannah says, solid gold. Thank you so much. And nobody talks about this kind of stuff, man. Like nobody does. This is the kind of stuff that I talk about. And I, and I take massive pride on talking about this because I know no one else is talking about this. Everyone's like, oh yeah, uh, this is how you mix, this is how you make this red. Dude, like, like, like take your red and shove it somewhere. I don't need it. I already learned that. You know, or if or if I need to learn that, that's awesome. I'll go and I'll look a YouTube video on that and I'll learn that. But that if you want an art career, it's not how you mix reds, by the way. If you want an art career, it's how you get attention. It's how you get attention. You gotta switch from, oh I'm a painter, good for you. Now get attention. If you want a career. If you don't want a career, keep painting. But if you want a career, you need to make a leap and you need to start getting attention for yourself. And so nobody teaches this. Nobody teaches this. You, you can go to a, an art school and, man, like pay thousands and thousands of dollars and I'm, and I'm giving it to you here for free. If you want an art career, you need attention. You need to get attention for yourself. I don't, I don't know what it, that, that is. It's a, it's a YouTube channel. It's an Instagram show. It's a whatever, right? Instagram show, yeah, whatever. <laughs> Instagram lives. Uh, it doesn't matter. Uh, it's no one thing, by the way. As I started this, it's no one thing. It's, it's, it's all of them. You got it because you don't know where the next person's coming from. I'll get 50 bucks here. I'll get a hundred bucks there. Boom. One day I hit it out of the park and I get a thousand bucks here. Another day I hit it out of the park and I'll get $20,000 over here. Right. But I don't, but I don't want the 50, $20 to stop. I don't want that to stop. Those drips need to keep on coming. Right. I don't want them to stop because when I don't get the $10,000 painting over here, this doesn't stop. Right. The little drips don't stop. Boom. Boom, boom. I don't want that to stop. And by the way, not everything is not everything is income, right? It's also opportunity. I want to continue talking to the people on Facebook because that doesn't stop, right? They're sharing the photographs, they're telling other people, and that doesn't stop. It doesn't stop. I share a photograph. Oh, I like it. Oh, that's so nice. Boom, they share it. Five people share it, ten people share it, right? Now, now the artwork is being shared, right? I don't want that to stop. Especially if it has a link there, right? Especially if it has a link that won't die, right? One of those links that goes to a, uh, I'm sharing something a little extra here, to a funnel, right? A little link that goes to a funnel. I don't want that to die. I want that to, to, I want that to go into space and live forever, right? Because that's, uh, that's continuous opportunity. It doesn't stop. You don't have to go viral, by the way, for this to work. So hey, let, me, let me read what Richard, Richard says. Uh, what goals is achievable for someone starting from nothing? The most achievable goal, if you're starting from nothing, is you, you, you have to bring attention, okay, to your action. You have to bring attention to your action. One of the, 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 the game changer for me, what changed everything for me, is that I went from what can... I get, oh, I need to go get a, uh, an email list. Oh, I need to go get uh, an audience on Instagram. Okay, well, that's going to take time. Okay, well, I, but I'm going to work really hard on that. That's putting, a, that's putting the, the, your, uh, your energy, it's giving it away to some future. If this makes any sense, I, I hope that this makes sense. You need to go in and get that energy back. And say to yourself, what can I do right now? Okay, well, I can do... Here's, here's the mistake that most of us do, okay? I can go do an Instagram... Uh, uh, get an Instagram uh, account and, and get an audience. Good, but that's not happening tomorrow, right? It's not happening tomorrow. Like, I, I, I want a million... I, I want 10 million, but, but, but I'll be happy with a million, right? I'll be very happy with a million, a million uh, followers on Instagram. I want that, but it's not happening tomorrow. So instead of me being like, oh, I'm working so hard on this Instagram thing, be like, oh, okay, I want Instagram to work for me. Boom, get that plate spinning, right? Get it, light a match on it, get it spinning. Don't ever let it stop, right? You bring the power to you. Since it's not happening right now, 
It doesn't mean I'm not going to do it. It doesn't mean I'm going to get all of my energy into that basket. It means I'm going to get it started. Boom. Okay, what else can I do? Well, you're doing that. You're doing that. Yeah, but what else can I do? You know, this is how you start getting to those goals. Well, I can do a YouTube channel. Cool. Okay, let's get that started. Hey, what else can I do? Because I'm not going to get a huge audience from a YouTube channel, maybe not even views when I start, right? Yeah, but I need to get it started, right? It needs to start running. It's a motor. You need to start. I can get a gallery show. Cool. Boom. Once you start getting all these little things ignited, right? You start getting things ignited. The very first thing that's going to start happening is you're going to start getting lucky. You start getting lucky. Bing. One of those is going to, it's going to just bounce energy back to you. Someone's going to say, Hey, can you do a, a commission for me? Hey, I didn't know you painted. Look, we're looking for artwork in this building. We need to fill it up with artwork. That's, that, that's something. It's better than nothing, right? It's better than having your artwork in your apartment or your house somewhere. Now you have it in a, in a building where there's traffic flow, where people are walking and then they can put the prices there. And maybe you can even do a, a show, right? An art show where they can invite, I don't know, 20, 50 people, right? Start multiple avenues cons- continuously. That is, th- this, Richard, this is the holy grail. When I, when I do coaching with artists, this is the very first thing that I tell you. By the way, artists pay me 300 bucks an hour to share this with them, Okay. So whoever, whoever's watching this right now, you just got 300 bucks of like just info, you know, info that, that it's, that it's actionable things that you can do, things that you can actually do. Not, um, not some theory, some, oh yeah, well, you know, I heard this guy said that, no, this is, this is how I got started. This is the thing that works for me and I'm sharing it with you. Will it work for you? I I can't promise that. Like we all know, we can't, we can't promise that. But what I can tell you is that it works for me and I don't know any other way. I'd be, I'd be lying to you if I told you, oh, look, this is all you got to do. Just figure out how to do Facebook advertisements and then you're set for life. Maybe someone knows how to do that. I don't know. You can go to them. I don't, I try that shit. It does not work for me. Now it does work for me, but it's not the only thing is what I'm trying to say. Like, I can't go be like, I'm going to turn everything off and I'm just going to put all of my attention on Facebook ads. Or I'm going to put all of my attention on eBay. By the way, I've done this. For those of you who are like, man, I want to sell on eBay like he does. When I put all of my attention on eBay and I drop everything else, right? When I've done that, I get kicked right in the nose. I get kicked right in the nose. Like, my business suffers so badly. Why? Because you cannot put your attention in just one thing. You got to keep them open. Because I don't know where the next thing is coming from, right? I, I wrote a LinkedIn article. Boom. All of a sudden, someone's like, hey, do you do commissions? Oh, I was looking to do a commission of my wife. Sure, dude. Here's the commission. Okay, well, what size? Oh, okay, 3,000 bones. Boom, right there. Unexpected. All of a sudden, someone, I'm, I'm in the middle of the night and my phone goes, bling. I wake up. Oh, I sold 1,000 bucks on, on, on Etsy. Oh, that's nice. I sold two big paintings on Etsy. 1,000 bucks right there. Very cool. Right. Unexpected. I was sleeping. I had, I, I didn't even have an idea. I, it felt like I would, it felt like I didn't even work for it, but, but let's not kid ourselves. Of course I worked for it, but it feels that way, right? Because you got all these things running. You got all these things running and that's how you start getting lucky. So when people ask me, Hey dude, how do you make it happen? Dude, I just get lucky. That's all I do. I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. I don't know shit of what I'm doing. Like I, I can, I, I, I'm not going to lie to you. I don't know what I'm doing. All I know is just action, action. Just create action. I learned this from a mentor, by the way. This guy, like he, he does really well for himself. And this is where I learned this. Just action. I have no any, I, I don't have any other thing to give you other than do you get something started, don't stop it. Keep it going. Get something else started, don't stop it. Keep it going. When you have a little bit more energy, double up on them. Whatever you got started, dump some gas into that. You know, like maybe you start using Facebook, keep that going. You sold something, get some of those little funds, run a Facebook ad. Don't expect your, your business to change overnight because you threw in $20 a day on Facebook ads. Like it won't, but now it's got a punch in there, right? Now it's just not, not, it's not just running. Now it's running and it's punching. It's running. It's a jackhammer, right? It's not just running. Now it's punching. So, so it's helping now again, right? It's, 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 another, it's another push. 
you're getting pushed. Remember, you 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 need you need all the help you can get because your number one problem, your only problem, is the same problem that the president of the U.S. has before their president, right, or any other country. It's attention. The person who gets more attention wins the presidency. That's always, you know. And who's the person? It's it's been it's been uh, proven over and over and over again. The person that gets the most attention is always the person that puts out most energy, right? The most energetic. I learned this from Ed Milet. Look at the candidates in history. The person that puts out more energy, that's more energetic, you know, ends up winning the presidency. Why? It's obvious. They have more energy. They're doing more. They're doing more videos. They're talking more. They're, they're, they're just, it's, there's more energy, right? The more energy, the more attention, energy, right? You're pumping energy. You're getting attention. It's like a baby. Imagine if a baby couldn't cry. Imagine if a baby needed to get milk, but the baby has no voice, right? It'd be very fucking difficult, right? You have to be paying attention to the baby all the time. But if the baby cries, it's easier, right? It's not easy, but it's easier. It's much easier to get the attention of the parent to give them milk. It's the same way. Um, Danny Art says, can it work without ads? Yes, of course it can. It can, but I, I, I wouldn't recommend it. Now, if you're starting out and you don't have the budget for it, don't let that stop you because it can work without ads and it does work without ads. When I started, I did not throw ads. As a matter of fact, I don't throw that much ads. One of my, one of my mentors kicked my ass and he's like, dude, you got to start throwing ads like real, like, you know, you got to start throwing some real budget into ads. And quite frankly, I've been afraid. Because I trusted only doing it, doing everything with just energy. But uh, it's a big mistake of mine. I need to throw in more, more energy with, with uh, paid advertisement. People get uh, attracted to positive vibes. Yeah, I mean, and, and that's what it is. You know, the, the people that are positive, what is one thing, one common thing of people that are positive? One very common thread. It's not just that they're smiling. They have a lot of energy. They're able to tell you, you know, I can. Hey, so can you. So can you, you can too. And, and, and that, you know, that enriches people, right? That we, we touch each other's souls, right? That's what we're doing. We're, we're rubbing on each other's spirit, right? When someone says, ah, I don't know. I mean, it's kind of hard. Imagine if I, if I showed up here every day and be like, you know, I know you want to be an artist, but let me tell you about what went wrong, man. It's really hard. I really, I don't know. I mean, could, could you work on something else? You know, could, could you just maybe paint sometimes and don't worry about this whole art thing. It's, it's very difficult. You know I mean? Let me tell you about my bad day, man. Like you, you'd be like, dude, I, who the fuck is this guy? I don't want to hear this guy. But if you hear me going like, you know what? You can. Yes, you can. It's going to take work. But look, here's what you can do. A, B, and C every day. I'm dropping. I'm dropping stuff every day telling you guys, of course you can. Of course you can. It's not rocket science, but it will require energy, right? It will require energy. Every ounce of you. It will require every ounce of you. And by the way, anyone can do it. Anyone can do it. Because I'm not talking just about physical energy. I'm talking about the will. Willpower is very different than just physical energy. Right? It's, it's much. It goes beyond. Willpower, I believe, is metaphysical. Willpower is, is, is where there's a will, there's a way. Right? Willpower is, is, is fuck yeah, I can. Right? Willpower is different than, yeah, no, I, I, I got it. I'll do it. Willpower is like, I fucking got this, right? Willpower is different. It's, it's, it goes beyond, right? It's metaphysical. It goes beyond. It's certainty. Whether you know it or not, right? It's certainty. When you're certain about something, you don't know. It's like you're going to get married. You, know, you, you sure you want to, you know, you sure you want to marry this person? Uh, yeah. But do you know what life is going to be like? Uh, no, dude. Who can tell the future? Then, then why you want to marry that person? Because I'm certain about it, right? Certainty does not mean that you know the future. Certainty means that you know now. You know this. You know here, right now. Certainty does not mean, well, in the past this happened. That's not certainty. That's fear. That's, that's like, are you sure you want to get married? I don't know, man. I've been married before. This is, this is probably going to hurt a lot. Are you sure you want to do that? I don't know. I bought a house before. And last time I bought a house, oh, I don't know, man. Uh, are you sure you want to be an artist? I don't know. Last time I tried, it was like 20 years ago. It was really difficult. And, you know, based on my memory, memory, by the way, 99% of it, probably 100, it's fucking bullshit. Right? Me memory is like, 
It's like looking into a grave to see what's going to happen. That's what memory is. Every time you were like, oh, let me think back. Dude, please don't think back. Please don't. Right? Think now. What can I do now? What, what's now? What's available now? It, you can think future too, but most importantly, keep your attention here. What can I do now? This is why I said uh, when you're going to go get an, an Instagram page, and you're going to go in and, and, and start getting an audience. It's very easy to go into, oh man, this is going to be really hard. Yeah, it will because you're thinking about future. Don't think about future. Right? Don't think about future. You're thinking about future. It's, it's, it's far away, man. Like, no, now. What can I do now? Can I go start liking some photos? Yeah, okay, cool. Every time you get lost in just one activity over and over and over and over and over, you get lost in one activity all you're doing is thinking about future because you're trying to do it now. You cannot waste all your energy in just one activity. Like you can't be like, I'm going to make Instagram grow and all you're doing is Instagram. And then you neglect painting and then you neglect writing an article. And then you neglect going out and talking to people, shaking some people's hands, passing out business cards, sending out handwritten letters, sending out an email, right? Doing a gallery show, visiting a gallery show, going to a gallery opening, Going to, I don't know, the local art marketplace, right? You're missing on all of that because you're fixated. This has happened to me. This is why I can talk about it so freely. Because you're fixated on, on that one future, right? Instagram, I got to make it grow. And all day you're on Instagram. You know, all day. Oh, Instagram, that's not gonna, it's not going to work like that. You need to do Instagram hard. Boom, 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 boom. Ten minutes, put it away. Go to the next thing right? Hard. Facebook. Boom, 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 baby. 10 minutes, 15 minutes tops. I'm going to share with you guys one of my best videos that I got out there. Uh, it's it's uh, time management, which is not time management, but I call it that. Uh, I got to change the name of that because there's no such thing as that time, time management bullshit. But uh, how, do, how do you work with time if you are a, an entrepreneur, an artist, right? How do you work with time? And and one of my, I just gave it to you right now, one of, one of my secrets is you don't go hard on anything only for a short period of time. You don't go hard on it. Uh, how can I say this? Do 50 things in one day and just give them 10 minutes. You know, I don't know. Do 20 things. Just give them 20, 10 minutes, 10, 20 minutes and move on. The next day you give them another 10 minutes and then you move on. And that way you're doing many things and you start getting lucky. Look, here's, here's the reason why I'm going to give it to you right here. The reason why is because if you go hard all day on Instagram or on Facebook or on YouTube or whatever, or on making your business card, this is paral analysis by paralysis, right? If you, get, if you go hard on any of those things all day, what happens is no matter how hard you go on those, how glossy you make your fucking business card, how beautiful it looks, the font and everything, how beautiful your website looks. It's almost 0% chance that anyone's going to visit it. It's like very little that anyone's going to get that, that business. You're, you might not even pass that business card in another, it would probably take you another month before you, you develop the, the, the strength to start passing out business cards. Or even if you do, for someone to call you or visit your website from that business card. So it's not intelligent to do that. I didn't know this. I had to learn this from a mentor. This, this thing I didn't learn. I didn't learn like, like, oh, I know this. Like, this is something that I know. I had to learn it. And then I kept making the same mistake because I couldn't learn it, right? Because, because to really know something is awareness. It's not, it's not theoretic. It's not theory, right? It's awareness. It's when you, you get smacked enough times that you're like, no more. Fuck this, right? No more. Please, like, I don't want to get punched anymore. Because you got punched enough times. This is what breeds awareness. Well, this is how I learned this, okay? This, you can trust that I know. When you focus a lot of time in one or two activities, you start losing the game. Because you're downsizing your chances of, what's the number one problem again? Attention, right? So the wider you go, the more chances you got. Instagram, someone, someone likes one of my photos. Facebook, someone shares one of my photos. YouTube, someone's thinking about getting one of my, one of my, one of my commissions, right? eBay, someone bids on something. 
right? My, my personal website, my email list, someone responds and says, man, I really like this painting. How much is it? Right? The gallery show, someone, someone's thinking about buying that painting. But if I was just fixated on one thing, I'd, I'd be waiting for that one thing. If I was just fixated on Instagram or one gallery show, I'd be waiting for that. I'd be like, oh man, right? I'd be waiting for that. So I'm sharing with you guys something really profound here. Something that it, it, for me, it, it was the life changing moment. It was a life changing moment. You focus on one thing, you neglect everything. Yeah, so the best thing to do is to focus on 50 different avenues for a short period of time, okay? One blog, someone, some, hey, dude, can I, can I be in your blog? By the way, if you, if you, if you have a blog, if anyone watches this some, sometime later, I want to be in your blog. I want to be in your podcast, right? Why? Because it's another avenue. It's another avenue. I want to be in as many avenues as possible. I want to be in as many places, all at the same time. Why? Because when I go to sleep, when I'm sleeping, someone's watching that podcast. Someone's listening to the podcast. Someone's watching that blog, that video blog or whatever, right? Someone, someone is awake at two in the morning listening to that. In some other country or, or in the same country, it doesn't matter. That thing is working for me, right? That thing is, works for me like real estate. It's working for me. It's, it's, I already invested in it. Someone's work, it's, it's, it's working by itself, <laughs> It's, uh, it's, it's, it's producing results by itself, right? It's not, it doesn't need me anymore. Now, it doesn't mean that I don't want to put energy into it. I'd love to put energy and share it and talk about it and reshare it again and maybe run an ad on it. That's awesome. But, but it's already doing itself too, right? It's doing itself. So I hope that this helped you guys. My name is Jose Trujillo. I'm an artist. I'm sharing some very, very cool stuff here uh, because it's important to me to share this kind of stuff. I think that if I can do it, so can you. I know. I don't think. I know. If I can do it, so can you. If other people tell you that you can't do it, they can go fuck themselves. Of course you can do it. You know? Everyone, everyone's got it in them to do it. Whatever it is, you don't have to, you don't have to be an artist, whatever it is. I think where there's a will, there's a way. And when you fixate on something, you can't do anything. And my, the thing I want to share with you guys here over and over is don't fixate on one thing. It's not good. It's not even good for your health to fixate on one thing. Like to just to, to consume yourself on one thing. Like Thomas Edison wasn't just thinking about the light bulb. He was doing other stuff. He was funding other stuff, right? It's just that the light bulb was there too, right? Oh, the light bulb. We got it. But, but he couldn't just do the light bulb. There was other stuff happening. Giving speeches and, and, you know, making business moves. He was an excellent marketer and businessman. So he was doing other things, right? It wasn't just the light bulb. So you can't just fix it on one thing, guys. Like add to it. I've talked about this over and over. Add to it. And, and watch, watch, your, watch your jam really start working once you start adding to it. You get a gallery show here. Man, all of a sudden, you write a little, you make a little podcast or you whatever, right? And you keep running it. Let it run, let it run, let it run. And then you make a YouTube channel. Baby, let it run, let it run. And then you put some Facebook ads. Let those run. Maybe you don't have income to pay, you know, you don't have budget to pay ads. Don't do it. It will work without it. You know, it's just that it's just that paying ads. It's like adding gasoline, right? At some point, it's like you're adding gasoline to it, but it works without it as well. To get you started, you don't you don't need to, right? You don't need to. Uh, at some point, it, it's probably it's probably smart. I'd, I'd do it. It's probably smart to do, but uh, but you don't you don't. It doesn't take money to make money. I don't I don't think so. I think it takes it takes willpower. It takes courage and willpower to make to to make things happen. You know. And so there it is. Richard says, this is the best live feed yet. Thanks, Jose. Thank you so much, Richard. I really appreciate it. You guys, I hope you guys, you guys like go knock it out of the park, guys. Go, whatever it is. I don't know. If you're an artist like me, hey, there's no such thing as, oh my God, like, uh, you know, I, there's, uh, I don't know, too much competition. There's no such thing as competition. Look, I'm, I'm willing to work as hard for me, 
right? And you're going to do it for you and your family and, and your things. And there's no such thing as competition because there's levels for everyone. Maybe you want to, you know, whatever you want. I don't know, whatever it is, right? You want to be a full-time artist. Well, cool. Maybe I don't want to be a full-time artist. Maybe I, I want to be able to generate $100 million a year and, and, and help companies or whatever. See, the, 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 the rules change, right? They start changing. The things start changing because your goals start changing. And the changing. So I, I don't believe in competition that way. Like I don't, I don't think it exists. Uh, quite honestly, I don't think it exists. Uh, I think there is other people doing what you're doing, but it doesn't mean that it's competition. You know, everybody does it differently. So I'll leave you guys with that. Take care. My name is Jose Trujillo. Peace.